Typhoon Rai rapidly strengthens as it nears the Philippines. Typhoon Rai currently has sustained winds of 130 miles per hour, making it the equivalent of the Category 4 hurricane. CNN Typhoon Rai is rapidly strengthening east of the southern Philippines and may be on the verge of becoming a super typhoon. The storm is on track to slam the southern and central portion of the country Thursday. Rai currently has sustained winds of 115 km per hour, 130 miles per hour making the equivalent of the category 4 hurricane on the Sapphire Sim Simpson hurricane wind scale. Favorable conditions acro across the region, including very warm ocean waters and low wind shear, led to the storm strengthening from the tropical storm to the potentially catastrophic high-end typhoon in the past 24 hours. Audition. Additional strengthening is expected, and the current forecast from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is for Lai Rai to reach 260 km per hour, 160 miles per hour at landfall. This will make a Rai equivalent to the Category 5 hurricane or a super typhoon. In the Philippines, the storm is known as Odette and is being monitored locally by the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. The outer bands of the storm are already spreading rain into the southern and central regions of the country and the conditions will deteriorate quickly in the coming hours. It's already Thursday in the Philippines, and from Thursday morning through Friday morning, the rains are expected to be heavy to intense and at times torrential. Pazasa said in its forecast bulletin early, early Thursday morning, more than 250 mm 10 inches of the rain will fall across the portions of mid Da now and Visayas. The intense rain is expected to cause widespread flooding, flashy flooding, and landslides in higher ter terrain. Pagasa has already issued the tropical cyclone warning signal 3 for high winds in southern portions of the Visayas and northern Mindanao as the storm nears the landfall. Thursday afternoon locally, Pagasa may increase the warning signal to 5 or even 4, even more 5, the top of their chart. In addition to the strong wind, the flooding, and the landslides, the coastal regions will be on alert for 3 to 4 meters of storm surge, and the shipping vessels will face the extremely rough seas over the next several days. December storms are not uncommon. In the West Pacific, there is no defined season for tropical systems as they are in other basins like North Atlantic, June 1st to November 30. While activity peaks in the late summer to early autumn, the storms will occur in any month of the year. The Philippines is no stranger to catastrophic storms in December. In the last decade, numerous intense and deadly storms have impacted the region. In 2011, tropical storm Washi killed well over 1,000 people in the southern Philippines and never made it to the typhoon status. The storm was comparatively weak but dumped a massive amount of rainfall, leading to devastating flash flooding and landslides during the overnight hours while people were sleeping. Just a year later, in December 2012, Bofa also hit the southern Philippines, the region of Mindanao. The Bofa was much stronger than Washi, hitting the region at the super typhoon and killing more than 1,000 people. 
The Philippines was also struck by strong and deadly typhoons in December 2014, Hagupit, and 2016, when Typhoon Noctan struck on Christmas Day.